Guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you will not regret it. And if you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back. And I appreciate the support. At the bottom of the screen, you see the email address. You guys can drop me a line. If you got any ideas or any material that you think would be, make for good viewings for the audience, my subscribers, you can drop it off there. Feel free. Guys, listen. Listen, listen, listen. I got to give a shout out to one of my special friends in Memphis, Libra Wade, for dropping this on me and sparking me to think. And I keep telling you guys, when you guys hit me up on that uh, that uh, email address, whether it's just to say hello or, or anything, it sparks me to think. And she sent me something that sparked my imagination and I did some uh, background work a little bit on to Darius Bean's lawyer, Mr. John Perry. And I'm going to tell you, he picked the right representation for him in the legal system. If you want to lose a case. Because John Perry's last client, which I'll show you in a clip right now, got life. And it's less than a year ago. He lost his last case. I don't know if these guys pick uh, are just grabbing anybody that comes along and says, hey, I'll do your case for money. But this is a money grab, grab for uh, John Perry. I honestly believe it. this guy could not defend himself in court, let alone anybody else. And it's messed up because he's a lawyer. But listen, guys, take a look at this clip. I'll be back and we're going to talk about it. Check it out could be spending the rest of his life behind bars after sentences handed down by a judge today in the murder of basketball standout Lorenzen Wright. Now, Turner is the only person to stand trial for the 2010 killing, and now it appears he will be the only one getting some major time in prison. Billy Ray Turner has already been sentenced to life in prison for the murder of basketball player Lorenzen Wright 12 years ago. This time, it was to sentence him for attempted murder and conspiracy to commit murder. When Turner, an accomplice turned prosecution witness, Jimmy Martin, went to Atlanta months before the killing in another plot to murder Wright. Wright's mother, Deborah Marion, was the only witness called to testify about how the killing hit her and the family. That was already right. And, and now, we don't have nobody near like him. The prosecution said Lorenzen's ex-wife, Shara, may have plotted the killing, but Turner carried it out. They said with his lengthy criminal record and his prior gun conviction, he should get the maximum time and have the sentences run consecutively, meaning even more time in jail. But Turner's lawyer, still maintaining his client's innocence, said there's no evidence he planned anything or took a leadership role in the killing. Judge Lee Coffey laid out the law before he handed Turner two 25-year sentences for attempted murder and conspiracy to commit murder to be served concurrently, but then said that 25-year sentence, the 16 years for a gun possession, and life plus 41 years will have to be served consecutively. A life sentence in Tennessee presently you know, has no parole, so right now, as, as you asked, is 51 years day for day. The 41 year sentence uh, is served at 30%. So after the 51 years, after 30% of 41, which may be around 10, 15 years, something like that, uh, presumably he would be eligible for parole. Billy Turner is 51 years old. It means he may never be free again. Thank you, Jesus. He need to go on because, you know, I got life. He can still talk to his family when he gets to where he's going. I, I can go talk to Lorenzo too, but he can't talk to me. So he's getting what he deserves. Attorneys for Billy Ray Turner declined to speak after the sentencing, but they plan to appeal the case and will be back in court August 5th with a motion for a new trial. Now, what y'all think about that? Tadarius Bean is finished. Finished. He just came out of a major case because I remember, guys, that case happened like, what, over 10 years ago when uh, Lorenzo Wright was killed? And I remember that case because he played for the Memphis Grizzlies. Listen, guys, 
The guy who went to court twice and got smoked every time. Dude, that explains the nervousness and the irritation of uh, why he was like that. He shouldn't have made the statement. Like I said, reason why I say he was nervous and all of that, look who the defense is. I mean, look who uh, the DA is, the assistant DA, Paul Hagerman, the same guy, that white ball head guy that you saw at the Raymond hearing talking, representing the family for Tyree Nichols. He, that's who he lost against, that same prosecution team. He knows he has problems because they know his ins and outs. Remember, lawyers go against each other all the time. It's a boxing match. They know each other's strength and weaknesses. He going to get smoked. The dude, Billy Ray Turner, one of the big reasons why he lost, they only put one witness on the stand, and that was the mom and the, uh, not, not, uh, not the mom. It was one witness they put on the stand, some lady that told all the business. Uh, John Perry would not told, uh, what's the name? Don't take the stand in your own defense. Don't take the stand. He didn't take the stand. That's why he lost. Bad legal advice. Bad legal advice because it could have been your word against hers, but that's neither here nor there. The guy is, is gone for what he did, and we on to this. This time it's videotaped. And you see what they did? They put Lorenzo Wright's mom up there on the stand. And I ask you, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to think deeply on this. With all that video footage and all that, who going to ex cross-examination the mom in a case like this? You want to be a lawyer to go up there and cross-examination the mom after what she did and what she what she, what she she uh, had to go through? They put Lorenzo, Lorenzo Wright's mom up there, right? It's looking bad for all of them. All of them. Guys, I cannot wait to get down there for this trial. I cannot wait. I want to see as much as I can see and bring it to you guys because all the ins and outs, I'm going to be buying every newspaper. I'm going to be looking at WREG, shout out to them, and all the other news channels. I'm going to get as much material as I can. I'm going to get my technology and stuff up. I'm going to be shooting from the hotel room. You are going to get it all live and direct, raw and uncut from Stock Market Steve. I guarantee you, I'm going down there. Listen, they look silly. Man, I'm telling you, when Chadarius Bean, I'm not, I don't care nothing about him, but he need to get a new lawyer quick. And it's funny, I was saying all that, and shout out to Libra Wade for bringing this to me. I'm like, something not right with that dude, and that's why he nervous. I don't think he got no defense that can deal with uh, Paul Hagerman and them. Guys, this is going to be a a trial worth paying attention to, whether it's on court TV, national TV, or what. Guys, you got to take pay attention to this. This right here, man. I mean, it's like every day something new is coming out. And it's always a story that's different than the next. I just did the story about how he said to Darius Bean didn't punch or make contact with what's his name. And I just showed the clip, which I got in trouble on YouTube for about with him and Justin Smith, today is being and Justin Smith pummeling Tyree when he was what? 30 yards from his house on the ground when they first caught him? Because it was Emmett Martin, Justin Smith, and today is being that caught him. And they was punching him in the face and all that stuff. Had him calling for his mom again. How you gonna explain that, John Perry? Like I told you, he's going to tell him to take a deal. And I don't think that the assistant DA yesterday, I mean, the other day, if you go and look at that arraignment hearing, when they showed them after talking after, you could see the assistant DA, John Hageman, I mean, Paul Hageman, was upset. I don't think they're going to offer them a deal and force them to go sit on that hot seat. Now, I hope that's what it is. Because, you know, sometimes they don't offer you no deal. Ain't no deal. Because they got you dead to rights. And I think that's what's going to happen right now. They are not prepared for what's going to happen. And it's funny how these guys was out there uh, showing their own kind of law, punishment and everything in the streets. And that was their turn. And they don't even know how to handle just the basic stuff as getting representation. I think either to uh, Darius Bean is either broke or just stupid. And it's funny. You got the only black lawyer and you get the dumbest one in Memphis. Think about it. 
Think about it. He got to be poor. That guy must have ran and said, hey, please let me take your case. Because he wants to redeem himself because his record looks bad. And it might be affecting him getting business as clients. He don't care. Long as he don't get life, it's a win for him because it's better than the verdict of the last case. Guys, this is crazy. I'll see you in the next video. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Man, give me a thumbs up on this if you're feeling what I'm saying. And I'll see you guys in the next video.